What do you do when you want to change an industry? Rewrite conventional thinking or overthrow a government? You start a revolution. A revolution of a bowling ball is not as dramatic as those examples, but it's a term we hear a lot. This week, we're going to discuss the rev rate of our bowling ball, or as it is normally termed, revs, next on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Here on The Art of Bowling channel, we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help improve your bowling game. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss another episode. So what is this thing we call a rev? Well, it's an RPM, a revolution per minute. It is how many times your bowling ball makes a full rotation in 60 seconds. So how do we calculate our RPM? First, we need a way to see or count how many revolutions your bowling ball makes while it's headed toward the pins. Once we have that, now we need to know how long it takes your ball to go from your hand to hitting the pins. As an example, let's say your bowling ball turns over 13 times and it took two seconds to get to the pins. The equation would look like this. The hardest part of this whole thing is counting your bowling ball's revolutions. For this, we need a video camera positioned behind you, capturing your bowling ball's entire motion down the lane. Personally, I use an app on my smartphone called Coach's Eye to record the shot. Let's take a look at Timmy's shot in slow motion and calculate his rev rate using what we just learned. In order to count correctly, we use tape and place it on his ball from his finger holes to his positive access point or PAP. We will cover PAP in a future video. Using the Coach's Eye app to record the shot, Timmy rolls his ball down the lane. Now we can count how many times the ball rotates down the lane by counting how many times the tape rotates. To determine the time it took his ball to get to the pins, we look at the time stamp from when the ball left his hand and subtract that from the time stamp when the ball hits the pins. This determines how many seconds it took to reach the pins. At this point, I'd like to thank my high school algebra teacher, Mr. Modell, for teaching me how to do this part, cross multiplication. So based on this formula, this is Timmy's rev rate. Now you can calculate your own rev rate. So why exactly is a rev rate important? Rev rate affects hitting power and how your ball goes through the pins, rolling end over end as it enters the pocket. Knowing your rev rate can give you great insight as to what kind of bowling equipment and techniques will best suit your style. It's great information for your pro shop owner or your coach giving you a lesson. Hit the like button if you plan on calculating your own rev rate or if you learned something new today. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on the Art of Bowling.